Right, so, so very often in temple what happens is we're hitting with our hands all the time, but we need to be using our own body or kicking with our, just our feet and our legs when we need to use the whole body. So we employ the power principles, the three power principles, height, width and depth, through the dimensions of height, width and depth, okay? Then we're going to be hitting with our body and that's the whole idea. We want to hit with our body mass rather than just the muscles in our arms, okay? So it's, this is a classic technique for this. What we quite often see is the person comes in and it's just arms, hitting with the arm, which is fine. You can get really fast with that, okay? But it's a lot more powerful if you hit with your body. So for instance, here is horizontal backup mass. Here is gravitational marriage. Here's torque, and here's torque. You see, I'm using my waist and my body in the vertical plane and through the width zone and through the depth zone. Okay, that's how you use those power principles. And you can see quite plainly that there's much more of an effect. The other thing that we do when we play with this is we use the flats of the elbow. So I can tap him with that, which is fine. But if I use the point of the elbow, there's a lot more of, of, of an effect. So that's more of the, the, um, the lethal side of the art, is if you really focus and use the point of the elbow, that's when you get more damage. Pinpoint effect, that principle. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the three power principles are gravitational marriage through the height zone, or marriage of gravity through the height zone, torque through the width zone, twisting and turning your hips, which would be taught to us in long form one, and that's something you really need to work on there. And the other one is horizontal backup mass, which is that vertical travel. Okay. Your body weight. Now, I can push him with my body mass, but I can also hold him with my body mass. Okay, so we have, on straight line, we can go forwards and we can go back. So we, we have forward and reverse motion. We can push and we can pull. Circular motion, we have uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise, which is the same thing, but just on a circle. Okay, so that's where we start. Our study of opposites and reverses really come into play. It's really interesting work. Okay, but make sure that you're working on hitting with your body. If you're not hitting with your whole body with your strikes, then you're losing power. Okay, does that make sense? Fantastic. Okay, let's let's.